a rushing current. One train, one trestle. This wreck left one dead and dumped more than 50,000 fish and crustaceans into the Elkhorn River. This is the story of the Elkhorn River train disaster. In this area, over 100 years ago, a derailment happened. One that would change this area forever. Back then, it looked much different than this. This line is part of the original Union Pacific Overland Route, now Union Pacific's Omaha subdivision, and was once bustling with traffic. Things are different now, but that's not the point. This is the Elkhorn River in Waterloo, Nebraska. Waterloo is a small village with a population a little under a thousand. It's just like many other small towns around the country, built up by the railroad. Trains have been going across this river for over a hundred years, but back when the line was much newer, a derailment happened. In the summer of 1873, a special delivery of aquatic wildlife was needed for the California Fish Commission. But first, they had the Central Pacific Railroad turn a reefer into an aquarium car. With the new car all ready to go, it was time to add the fish. Tons of different species were added and they came from all around the country. 60 black bass, 11 walleye, 190 yellow perch, 12 bullhead catfish, 112 regular catfish, 20 blackfish, 1500 freshwater eels, 1000 brook trout, 162 lobsters, and a big barrel of oysters, and possibly others. Some of these creatures were even fully grown and full of eggs. There were two tanks on the car, one for freshwater creatures and the other for saltwater. There was a five-man crew on the journey and they slept in passenger cars behind the aquarium car. When the train arrived at Albany, New York, around 40,000 freshwater eels were added. At Chicago, 20,000 shad and their eggs were added as well. All was going as planned. On Sunday, June 8th, the train made it to Omaha and joined onto the Union Pacific Line. It headed west out of Omaha and seemed normal as they passed by locations I'm very familiar with. Once the train got outside of Elkhorn near milepost 22, that's when things started to get rough. The Elkhorn River was flooding and had weakened the trussle. When the train began to cross it, then things turned for the worse. With a loud crash, the bridge began to collapse and the locomotive, mail car, and aquarium car plunged into the rapids below. Everyone survived except for 35-year-old UP Roadmaster Michael Carey of Omaha. I'm not sure if his body was ever found, but they had a memorial service for him. As for the aquatic life, most saltwater species died quickly, but as for the rest, they thrived. Fishermen across the country were eager to get out to the river and catch some of these uncommon species. For the next 30 years, fishermen had been noting catching all sorts of species from salmon to black bass. It's unknown today if any of these species are still swimming around down there, but all we can hope is something like this will never happen again. <laughs>